Alrighty, so once again, thank you so much for coming over today and giving us the interview. Um, a week prior to the Olympia, you made a very big announcement that you're leaving IFBB. But before we talk about that, can you maybe just uh, give a quick introduction of your role in IFBB and what, what, what position you played in, in our organization? I served as an Olympia judge for, for the last 10 years and as a head judge. And as many of you know, I've traveled the world uh, in the last four years mm -hmm. uh, as a, a head official for the IFBB Pro League, uh, managing a lot of the international side along with Robin Chang of, of AMI. And then I also served as the NPC Texas District Chairman where we built up a, a very strong uh, athletic and competitive base uh, in the state of Texas. So both you were NPC and IBB? Yes, sir. IBB Pro? Yes, sir. Pro League, yes. Uh -huh. And you were judging contests like Olympia? Uh, Olympia, the Arnolds, uh, head judging the Arnold Brazils, Arnold Australia, um, you know, uh, Prague Pros, mm -hmm. uh, shows all, all around the world. Mm -hmm. So you made an announcement that, you, that you, after nine years, you're leaving IBB Pro and NPC. Um, why did you make that announcement? Why did you decide to leave? Uh, the announcement had been some time in coming. Um, there's a difference in vision. Um, I had worked with uh, with Jim for a long time, uh, Jim Manion, and uh, respected things, but saw that there was a need for change and heard that there was a need for change uh, mm -hmm. from athletes, from the sponsors, from the fans, and from the media, um, and for the sport. Um, and I shared those ideas, these very same concepts that we have found MPC Global uh, or the Inspire Physique Championship League on, uh, laid them out in emails, laid them out in a 28 page document, um, mm -hmm. spreadsheets, and it fell on deaf ears. Um, and then as things began to, to change uh, after we had Arnold's announcement, uh, uh, just after giving Jim his Lifetime Achievement Award, he came out and said, Here are the things that he saw that were wrong with the judging the distended bellies and uh, the lack of uh, the, the posing around being judged mm -hmm. and that muscle connection with the athletes and, and there's been a lot of other things that occurred during those last few months while I was preparing to launch the, the NPC Global um, League itself. Um, but then Kai's announcement, uh, I received a, a call at 545 in the morning from mm -hmm. uh, a former Mr. Olympia, uh, an eight time Mr. Olympia and um, he was very distraught about what was going on uh, with Kai. Obviously there was a lot of rumor and innuendo and, and not a lot of facts uh, mm -hmm. to be there, but uh, uh, it was at that point and, and at that moment that uh, mm -hmm. I knew the time from a business perspective was now mm -hmm. and also that we were prepared as a team to move. But I was also moved emotionally by Kai and watching someone who they give their life, these athletes give their life, their, mm -hmm. their time to mm -hmm for their income, this is their job. And to whatever the circumstances were, to say that you can't be a part of it or you, know, you didn't contract and everybody else did, all those things, this is how the man makes his money and he's great for the sport. He brought a lot of revenue into the sport which you know, hasn't been shared by his likeness and, and others like him, his images. Um, and his emotional plea was just, it was devastating. And so at that, it was you know, that time that we said, you know, we're gonna move and we put together the, the video to introduce the NPC Global to the world. So when you made an announcement that you're leaving IFBB finally, um, what sort of like, what kind of response did you get from people? Uh, overwhelming, uh, positive. Uh, people are happy. You know, change is inevitable in everything that we do uh, in, in life. You have to evolve. Um, and, and this sport has not evolved. I mean, we're still doing the same things. The the the, the rounds and, and the scoring system is still done with pencil and paper in the 21st century, which is why you know for the last you know few years we have been developing a software system that we're going to introduce that is transparent to you, the media, to the fans, even to the athletes themselves mm -hmm. that use iPads mm -hmm. and or whatever Apple software you want or Microsoft, but it's it's visible software that people can see. Mm -hmm. It's modern day. Well, what kind of response did you get from, from the actual IFBB? Uh, not, not a very good, not a very happy one. Uh, obviously, uh, there was not a lot of communication other than, uh, the, you know, works under a lot of intimidation and, and threats of, you know, whatever. Uh, we were standing at uh, Kai Green's uh, get, welcome party uh, that he had, or, or come meet, meet and greet. Uh, mm -hmm. And 
the manager of the facility was actually called by one of the officials uh, in the organization to ask us to leave and uh, we just refused to leave and then another hour came by and uh, you know one of the trainers uh, from from the organization who had a couple people out on stage uh, for Saturday night you know this is around eight o'clock uh, asked us to leave and said you know we really weren't welcome there but uh, the man that we came to see welcomed us with open arms and myself my wife Jennifer um, and, and others who were with us waited for five and a half hours and it was a great moment to be able to, to share with the, with Kai at that time and then just to be able to look him in the eye and, and, and thank him for giving us the inspiration to proceed forward and, and know that change is needed and desired. Do you feel threatened at all? Um, not physically but do you threatened business-wise from, from anybody obviously IBB Pro or IPC? No, no. I mean, it's a business. I, I, you, you know, it's no different than, than you starting a, you know, your, your, your uh, movie and, and production thing. It, it's a risk. You, you go out there to fight it. Uh, did I feel uh, threatened physically? Oh yeah, I've, I've had plenty of phone calls. Uh, like I said, we were where you guys were with, with Kai Green. There's about 400 people, thank you guys for being supportive, uh, who also heard the threats of, of physical violence. Uh, my 16-year-old daughter uh, was actually a message from a, a fake account that if your dad doesn't stop now, there will be harm come to him. Please talk sense to him. Who's, so, who's, who's, who's making those threats? Uh, you know, they've contacted our, our, uh, one, of my, one of my graphic artists that actually lives here in New York, and uh, he's been contacted by some of the heads of the organization, uh, some of the leaders uh, from the IPB Pro League and, and the NPC. Uh, directly and specifically, I've got uh, a phone full of text and emails uh, where they, you know, people have you know, been told to make sure that I knew without any doubt that uh, this was not going to be a smart physical move. Nobody's talked about the business aspect of it. It was, we will show you that you should have stayed at the kitty table. And, you know, the real anger for them is not the business. And I, I think that this is why, uh, one of the reasons I believe I win, they're not focused on the business. They're focused on trying to impose their will on those who pay for memberships to pledge an allegiance. They're trying to impose their will to get this, this, these three letters that mean just as much to me as they do to them. But if they would have meant that much and this was such a great and prideful thing, wouldn't you have registered it? You know, change is inevitable in everything that we do uh, in, in life. You have to evolve. Um, and, and this sport has not evolved. I mean, we're still doing the same things. The, 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 the rounds and, and the scoring system is still done with pencil and paper in the 21st century, which is why, you know, for the last you know, few years, we have been developing a software system that we're going to introduce that is transparent to you, the media, to the fans, even to the athletes themselves mm -hmm. that use iPads mm -hmm. and or whatever Apple software you want or Microsoft, but it's, it's visible software that people can see. Mm -hmm. It's modern day. I didn't even know what it, nobody fucking, I don't think anybody in Compton knew what a fucking steroid was back then. It's just, it was too fucking poor to, to think about a fucking steroid, you know, it's just, I'd rather you gotta try to buy food to eat, fuck, you know, I can't afford no steroids, so.